Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a nail DIY video. Yes ma'am. I just wanna say I've outdone myself. Obviously you know it's on the voiceover cause my nails are already done. You saw them in the beginning. And honey, this was probably my best set yet. I feel like I've mastered these soft gel x nails and i'm just really excited so let's just get straight into it okay so i'm starting off with um manicure nails i cut them down already but i do want to push my cuticles back so i went ahead and i soaked my hands in some hot water for a couple of minutes and then i pushed my cuticles back and i forgot to cut down my thumbnail so i'm cutting my thumbnail down i'm gonna buff the surface and i'm going to clip away any dead cuticle skin along the sides of my nails with my cuticle clippers um this is very important like i'm always saying and i get a lot of comments actually from you guys saying that you skip this step and your nails don't necessarily come out looking super super clean if you want that really clean looking look looking look that's funny um if you want it to look super clean you have to get rid of that dead skin that cuticle skin that's on your nail bed and around your nail bed um so that your soft gel nails will just lay super flat on top of your natural nail so i feel like it's very important don't skip this step i know it's a bit tedious but it makes the world of a difference and think you'll thank me later period okay period so I'm just cutting away that dead skin. Uh, don't know how many times I'm gonna say dead skin, but dead skin. <laughs> um, that's what they look like, all clean and ready to go. Okay, and I'm going in with my nail prep. This is a dehydrator, peach bond dehydrator. So I'm just doing a very light coat of that. And then I'm going in with the Apre acid-free gel primer. Um, this is the one that's recommended to use with their extend gel, which is why I use it um, And I actually really like it. It doesn't like burn or anything um, like other primers that I've used in the past so There's that these are the two extend gels that I've recently purchased from a prey um, The color that I'm gonna be going in with is this first one. It's called insatiable But I did want to so show you the second color that I picked up which is Sasha but this is insatiable. So the Extend Gel is basically like a gel, but a gel polish, but it's way thicker. Like it, the consistency of it is a lot thicker. It's a lot stickier. It's a soft gel. That's what it's described as. Um, so this is the second color I bought, Sasha. No, again, not using it today, but I just wanted to show you guys. And then I'm gonna be using my little handheld McCart UV light just to flash cure um, in between. And these are the Gel X nail extensions that I'm using. They're the sculpted, extra, extra long square. Um, these are the Chan Legend collaboration. He recently came out with these. These are like very new, actually. Had to set a whole alarm clock on my phone so I can make sure that I got the drop while it was still in stock. Um, so I'm just going in and I'm fitting the nails to my natural nail and one of them two of them are actually really badly dented so i was like kind of bummed out about that but um they were just on top i think they got caught in the case or whatever then you want to go in with an e-drill this e-drill is so easy to use and it's so affordable you guys be telling me like you don't have an e-drill Honey, this was $20. It was literally $19.99 on Amazon. Get you one. It will make your life so much simpler. If you plan on doing your nails for yourself, like I do, then this is like a must at some point. Like you can you can go without it, but honestly, you need it. Especially for the gel, um, the gel X nails, the soft gel nails, you need to buff the inside of the nail. It's one of the steps. So you can't do that with a nail file. You actually need an e-file for that. But this one is super affordable. It's not sponsored. I bought it with my own money off of Amazon. I will have the link down below in the description box. All links to everything will be down below in the description box. But honestly, like, you can't go wrong. 20 bucks. And I've had it for a couple of months now. And it still works perfectly fine. And it comes with a bunch of different nail bit pieces. So it's not just this one. You get a bunch of different sizes. Um, and it just makes your job so much simpler, honestly. I highly, highly recommend to 
purchasing the, the e-file. So I'm just going in and I'm buffing that underside and I'm gonna go up to basically where my natural nail would stop underneath the soft gel nail. And then you wanna do a coat. Uh, I, I was doing the coats a little thick, which is not bad because my nail beds are naturally flatter than the sculpted nail and they do kind of pinch my nail a little bit so I feel like I need to fill the inside of the nail more so that there's less pinching and this is what I've learned after doing a couple of sets and realizing this um, there was a little spillage but I clean it up but yeah so I'm doing a nice thick layer of that insatiable color um, in the extend gel from a prey and I'm gonna cure Make sure, when I say cure, that means use your UV lamp, your UV slash LED lamp, and set it. So I did that for 60 seconds underneath my UV lamp, and then I'm coming back and I'm filling the inside of the nail with that same color. I had decided that that's what I wanted the entire nail to um, be filled in with. So again, this is a soft gel, so you're able to do that. I just personally, this first nail was kind of like a trial run for me. I wasn't sure what my method or my approach to it was going to be. So I did a whole layer across the entire nail and then I left, put a little like ball of it towards the cuticle like normal and then I applied pressure and pushed down. Um, but I found this to be a little bit trickier and a bit more messy. So going in on my next finger, I just did the area where my natural nail would be and I put my little like bead of the soft gel towards the top of the cuticle as you guys can see here. Um, I was pretty generous with it like I said because I want to fill the inside, the, the curve, the natural curve of these nails is very high and my natural nail is more flat so I need to fill the inside of the nail so that there's no air bubbles. And every time you see me pull my hand out of camera, that's when I'm curing. I'm just not showing you guys, but I feel like you guys get the point. You know what it is. So I did that, right? And then I'm just filling in the rest of the nail with a very um, thin layer of the soft gel. I don't want to make it too thick. It doesn't need to be too thick, um, but it just needs to be opaque. So it, it was like two layers um, underneath the nail. And then I'm just going to do the same thing, repeat the same steps on every single finger it made it honestly made the process a lot quicker um, once I understood like how to apply the nails and I was very pleased with it the only thing that I would say is I've had these nails on for about a week now and I'm getting some lifting and I'm not sure if it's the quality of the soft gel because it's not the clear one and it is a colored one and if there is a quality difference or if it's the fact that I didn't buff my natural nail enough so I would definitely say just to be safe to buff your natural nail before you do all of the steps that I showed you buff it make sure that it's there's clear buffing not like don't hurt yourself you know but just make sure that you buff it so that there's um something for the the gel to stick to because I've had some lifting and I was kind of annoyed, but I'm still going to end up using, you know, these same products again. I'm sure that there is a better way for me to go about it. I just haven't figured that out yet, but it's all a learning process for me because you guys know I'm not a professional. I'm really just a DIY queen. Like I really just be doing it myself, doing it for myself and recording it for y'all. So I'm just going in and I'm doing a second layer of the soft gel because it was like you can see well it's a first layer for some of the nails but you can see the ones that you can see through I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do another layer because I want it to be fully opaque I don't want you to be able to see like where the the soft gel like you know there's a line of differentiation or anything so I cured both sides take it out of the UV lamp and it needs another especially on the thumb you see the little the little gap so I'm going with the second layer on all of the nails and then I'm gonna do another 60 seconds with my hand upside down I'm just trying to make sure that I fill all the gaps yeah I'm gonna put my hand underneath on the underside and cure the underside to make sure that that's all set in place. Don't 
Don't they look so good? I haven't even filed them yet. Ah, they look so good though. Like legit, if you just wanted to like lightly file and stop here, you really could. Clear coat, you really could. Ugh, they look so good. So now I'm about to go in and I'm going to file them. I love this color. This is such like my kind of nude. I'm using these two nail files. One's from McCart. It's 100 slash 180 grit. And the other one's from Kiss. It's um, a square, more rectangular shape. So it allows me to have really square, sharp lines. I really, really, really love it. And I'm just going in. I feel like I don't show you guys my filing process enough. But then again, I'm like, mm, they don't maybe they don't need to see it but this time around I was like okay I'm gonna show them so I'm just holding the nail file at an angle I don't know if you guys can can tell or you can see that and then when you're doing the top you want to make sure you're holding it super flat if you hold it um, not flat and not straight then you're gonna get like a curve I want it to be like super square like I'm going for square honey okay extra extra long square and you do have to do a, a little bit of filing because there's like little bumps at the top of the nails like any other nail tip you just have to buff that off and then I just sharpen up the sides nothing too crazy I'm not like doing a lot because these already come sculpted obviously so you really don't have to do much they're supposed to be like super easy so this is my one filed hand versus my unfiled hand um, and then we come back and now they both filed and they look so Yay! I wanted to leave them nude. Like honestly, I would have just left them like this. But then I bought this this gel polish set from Amazon from Beatles Gel Polish. Never tried their gel polish before, but this set was so cute. The colors was like my whole vibe. So it was giving me like nude cafe latte vibes. Like I wanted to do a gradient where I do like lightest to darkest from my pinky to my thumb. I have some alcohol that I'm gonna put in this little dish and I'm starting off with the lightest color which is 962 in the, in the little set. And I think it was like, I wanna say it was less than $15 for the six nail polishes, which is so, so affordable. I just, you can't go wrong. You can find everything on Amazon. It's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> now I know why Jeff Bezos is a, a trillionaire or whatever he is because literally everything is on there. It's like, how could you not? And it, and it comes in a day. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just going in. I'm starting off by doing a V shape and I was using the brushes from the actual gel bottle. And then to go in and do the smile lines because I'm doing a smile line French on every finger. I should have said that. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm using my little skinny brush, my little makeshift skinny brush. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna purchase a, a legit skinny brush, like a real one that comes that way so that, you know, I can have something to recommend for you guys. But I have yet to do that, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> I promise I'm going to do it. Next nail video. But yeah, the smile lines, I'm here for it. The French, I'm here for it. I think French is my favorite um, nail design to do on my nails, period. And the different colored French was just like, it was a moment. It was a vibe. It's giving. It's going to be giving. You will see. It's very cute. So cure that for 60 seconds and then clean off your brush and some alcohol. This is 70% alcohol. And move on to the next color, honey. The next color is 964. Again, I'm starting off by doing a V. And I'm just dragging the brush along the sides. Like, it's really self-explanatory. It's not going to be super easy for everyone to do from the start. But definitely with practice, it's not hard to do. Just do a little V. And then just round out that V with the skinny brush, sis. You got it. You could do it. It's real easy. You could do it, actually. I feel like anybody could do that. <laughs> uh, going in with the skinny brush and that same color. And for everything, I'm doing two coats. So, because I want it to be super opaque. I cured that for 60 seconds. And then I'm moving on to my middle finger. Next color, we're getting slightly darker. It's just, uh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I need to do this again, but with like spring colors, because this is giving very much like fall. But honestly, like who cares? <laughs> honestly, we love brown year round. It's very cute, very trendy, very fashionable. Um, and I'm here for it. 
point blank period that finger came out so easy <laughs> i surprised myself by the time i got to my middle finger i was like oh i could do this i could do this i could do it <laughs> so i'm curing under the uv lamp i think i was doing 30 second cures because i knew that i was going to be curing multiple times so i was like i don't have to have my hand under there for like super long i just need to kind of set it in place and then I'll do like a really like long cure at the end <laughs> to just set everything and make sure that everything's good to go you want to make sure you cap your edges ladies and gents cap your edges okay we don't want to see the nail poking out the color you want it to be clean you know all the way period um, that was the second layer for the middle finger, and then I'm gonna move on to my index. I don't think I'm just gonna let you guys watch because at this point, mm, I'm not really saying nothing. But y'all let it hear me talk. <laughs> y'all let it hear me talk. <laughs> no, but I'm doing um, that V shape, like I said, and then you're just gonna round it out with the, the second brush. Don't come for me if my smile lines are not, I know they're not all even. Do you know how hard it is to make them perfectly symmetrical and even across all 10 fingers and you're doing it on yourself? Do you know how hard that is? And you're doing it on camera? So you're not even like really looking at it the way you want to because the camera right there, you know? So honey, don't come for me. Last time I did some smile lines, they wasn't perfect. And y'all was really like, eh, they're not perfect. And I'm like, girl, I ain't no professional. Girl. Anyway, look at that. Ooh. I'm making sure to bring up the edges real high, but like super, super narrow right next to the cuticle because I like a really, really deep smile line. It looks so pretty. Okay, and then I'm going in with that second layer. And with the second layer, I can actually just use the, the brush that comes from the bottle because at that point, the shape is there. I just kind of just need to fill it in, you know? Ooh, so pretty. I'm obsessed. And then we're going to go in with the thumb. 967. This is the darkest color. It was giving um, chocolate vibes. Like choc chocolate and just deep, deep color. Just honestly, it just reminds me of melanin. Like honestly, cocoa bean. Um dark chocolate 98% cacao like <laughs> honestly the thumb I'm, I'm living for this color I low-key want to put it on my toes um so pretty yes that's what that looks like going in with the second layer and that is uh what the design looks like now all we have left to do is do our top coat obviously ah so good both hands done yes ma'am yes ma'am they look mad cute on her period things i did that and it's not even done yet but y'all feeling it? I know y'all feeling it. So I'm going in with my Gelish top coat. This is the one I use in every single nail video. Um, and I'm just going to quickly do my top coat. I just do a single layer of top coat. And I make sure that I get all of the edges of my nail. Literally every single edge. Sometimes it spills over so I just go back in with a brush to just clean it up. Because I don't want to cure that onto my skin. It's very uncomfortable. Um, so I'm just cleaning up that cuticle with some alcohol on my brush. And then I cure, and then I'm going to go in and do the rest of the fingers with the top coats. Yeah, the set is giving. It's giving everything that it's supposed to be gave. Like, it's really giving all that and, and then some. Like, heavy <laughs> Period. Ah! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I'm just setting it 
And then we're gonna go in with the cuticle oil because you gotta nourish them cuticles, honey. Okay, don't be letting them look crusty and dry. N nourish them cuticles. Make them nice and oiled up and moisturized like the rest of your body. And baby, we're done. The nails is done, the set is giving. I'm here for it. If y'all enjoyed this video, then please, please, please smash that like button down below. If my nails came out fire, smash the like button, okay? If you think I did that, smash the like button. If this is a set you would try, smash the like button. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications, okay, period. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Peace. Bye.